What is up everyone? So today I want to talk about GoPro earnings that they reported last week. Uh, so last week they reported earnings. Uh, they were trading around $10.50 I think. And now they tanked I think around 15% a day after they reported. Uh, now they're trading around $8 and change. So yeah, today I'm going to go into whether I think this stock is a buy at these levels. Um, so last week when they reported they actually beat quarter three guidance, uh, but they missed their quarter four guidance. Uh, so quarter three, they had 15 cents earnings per share versus, versus an estimate of two cents per share. Um, and they had revenues of 330 million versus estimate of 314 million. But their quarter four guidance was pretty weak. Uh, they're expecting 50 cents and they are, or the analyst expectations were 50 cents and their, their guidance was 42 cents. Uh, revenue estimates, uh, they're estimating 470 million and the analysts are expecting 521 million. So that's kind of why they tanked. Uh, they actually did pretty well with quarter, quarter three earnings. Um, it's their quarter four guidance that they really kind of missed uh, analyst expectations. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the chart and I'm gonna give some uh, kind of guidance on whether I think this stock is a buy at these levels. Uh, I think, you know, Nick Woodman, the CEO of GoPro, I think he's kind of an idiot. Obviously the chart kind of reflects that and how well the stock has performed over the last, since it really IPO'd. Uh, it shot all the way up to, I think $90 a share was its high, which was just crazy. I could not believe that. I, <laughs> I should have shorted those shares uh, around that valuation, but uh, now they're at $8 and some change. so. Obviously, he's not doing a very good job. So, uh, but I do think the company is turning around. Their their products that they just came out with were pretty impressive. They came out with the Hero Six and the the Fusion. Uh, and if you don't don't know what the Fusion is, it's basically a VR camera, so you can record the 360 basically, and you can take any shot from any angle pretty much, and put it on a flat to uh, or. Yeah, two, two dimensional screen. So yeah, I was pretty impressed with those products. And also the, the Hero 6 basically has uh, increased camera quality and the image stabilization is much, much improved. So I'm very impressed with these two products. Uh, obviously their drone that they came out with last year was a pretty big fail. Uh, the product reviews on that are horrible. Uh, DJI definitely kills uh, any kind of, not just GoPro, but any competition. They're the go-to for drones, but I know that GoPro is coming out with their drone uh, later, I think next year. So hopefully they can finally come out with something that can compete with with DJI. So, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But I was very impressed with uh, their new products. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and look at the, the chart of GoPro and kind of see where I think this can go. This is the one year chart of GoPro and let's, let's go ahead and go back uh, do two or three years. Uh, let's see, Thinkorswim kind of changed their their settings a little bit. So, okay, so yeah, as you can see, it IPO'd, uh, I think about a year before it peaked. Uh, and it peaked around $86 per share. And when it was trading at those levels, I was, I couldn't believe it. You know, obviously, <laughs> I should have shorted those shares looking back at it, but I, I didn't. Um, and yeah, it's come all the way crashing down to eight dollars and some change, eight eighty-five right now. So obviously, I mean, none of that was really Nick Woodman's fault, you know, when it peaked around eighty-six dollars a share. That was, you know, it was overvalued. There's no way it was gonna stay at those that valuation. That was not Nick Woodman's fault whatsoever. Uh, but what was Nick Woodman's fault was, you know, having it crash from, you know, all the way down to $8 a share. Like, that's, it should not be trading at that level. And yeah, obviously Nick Woodman with, so they're coming out with, uh, I mean, I have, I was pretty impressed with their two most recent cameras that they came out with, the Hero 6 and the Fusion. I was not impressed with the Hero 5 that they came out before, uh, a year before, um, same with the Hero 4. I, I mean, I, I've used the Hero 4, but I'm, I wasn't impressed with it. Um, but like I said, the Hero 6 and the Fusion, I am you know, pretty impressed with, actually. 
uh, with the reviews. I've not actually used them personally, but I've been very impressed with the reviews and the product presentation. Now for the drone, that's another story I, that the drone is a piece of shit. Uh, obviously DJI kills anybody else that makes drones, not just uh, GoPro. But I'm hoping that's going to change with uh, GoPro's drone that they're going to come out with next year. Do I think that this is a buy at these levels? And I do. Uh, let's go back to the year. And so yeah, I do think this company is a, a buy at this level. Um, obviously they disappointed on their quarter four guidance, but I think they just wanted to kind of be soft on their guidance. And and I do believe that the they're going to beat quarter four guidance by a very wide margin. I think that their new products are, are going to be a hit and really fly off the shelves this holiday season. I mean, the low, it, it hit a low of 715 back in, looks like, March. Um, and right now it's 885. So, yeah, anything really at these levels. It's got some support right here around 8 to 875, 850. Uh, there is a gap right here. They have to keep in mind all the way down to eight dollars. So, but I think it is resting. These white lines are the Boilinger bands. So it's at the bottom of the Boilinger bands, and that's that's kind of good. But it's also below all their all of its moving averages, which is pretty bearish actually. So, you know, if if it does come down to eight fifty to eight dollars, I'll be buying this pretty heavily. Uh, in this range, I might take a nibble at some shares, but I wouldn't go, you know, full bore. And as far as where I think this stock can go, obviously it's never going to get back to its $80 per share level that was at three years ago. That's just not going to happen no matter what they do. Nick Woodman can say, come out and say that he's the second coming of Jesus Christ and this stock would not go to $80 a share. More realistically, where I think this stock can go is, you know, let's go back to two years again. And realistically, I think this stock can go back to, you know, around these levels of, you know, mid teens, you know, if it's maybe 20s, but I don't, I don't see it going that high. Uh, right now, its market cap is one point. 274 billion so i think it's really a cheap company right now they have an amazing brand uh you know obviously their instagram account doesn't provide them any revenue but <clears throat> they do have a very big following and a very big brand presence and that is not something that you can really value in a company's financials but believe me that that is a very valuable asset to this company and to any company really for that matter. Another thing that's valuable that they do is they do work with a lot of content creators uh, and videographers and really do a lot of promotion through that. And that's really pretty smart with what, what they do with that. Um, and that's something that I think is, you know, very valuable and I think it's going to pay off in the long run. Obviously they've been struggling for the last two years plus, um, but I do think the tide is turning, and I think that they're on the upswing. So I think, you know, anywhere around the $8 range that it's at right now, down to, you know, if it does take a dip down to uh, sub-8, which I don't think is going to happen, but I would definitely buy at that level. So yeah, that's all I have for this one, guys. I just wanted to kind of give a quick recap of their quarter three earnings and where, where I think this company can go. I do think the shares are attractive at these levels. And like I was talking about earlier, I do think, you know, what they do with Instagram, social media, YouTube, uh, working with content creators, I do think that's very smart with what they're doing. And I think that will pay off in the long run. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.